Hi, this is Stuart Smith. I'm a manufacturing consultant here at Address, and today I'm going to be giving you a tip and trick on how to create a flat pattern of an imported sheet metal component. So it might be the case that you have colleagues or contractors that are creating content for you. They may be sheet metal parts, and you need to be able to create a flat pattern. A lot of users end up having to remodel the component to get that flat pattern. Well, that's not the case. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's been modeled in a different software package. You can still create flat patterns of that file. So the scenario here is we've received a step file, and I want to create a flat pattern of that sheet metal part. So all we do is open it up. So here's our converted file. We can see in the model browser there's no feature history. That doesn't matter. All we need to do is convert the file to a sheet metal component. So the key is measuring the thickness of the material and then specifying that within our sheet metal defaults. Once it knows the thickness of the material, it will be able to calculate and then create a flat pattern of this sheet metal part. So it's as simple as that.